turning now to a battle over a bridge in Missouri City. That bridge, which led to a local park, was torn down in 2016 and has yet to be replaced because of a disagreement between several municipalities. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon has more on the dispute and why it's frustrating homeowners. Two years ago, we were here at this very spot talking with residents who felt stuck. They were devastated after a bridge they always used was taken down without a replacement. Today, they say nothing has been done and they are still waiting for answers. It's really uh, hard for a parent to see that the kids are going through this situation. We last spoke with Pedroza in 2017. Her children still want to play, but it's been years since her children could walk to their neighborhood park. It was easier for them to just remove the bridge than fixing it. Likewise, longtime resident Bruce Zabrowski lives in the Missouri City side of the Fawn Meadow subdivision, a neighborhood split between Missouri City and Harris County by this bayou owned by the Harris County Flood Control District. While the county and city took down the old bridge in 2016, no one has stepped up to replace it. I think Fawn Meadow should be named maybe Forgotten Meadow. It just throwing the ball to each other and not, nobody does nothing about it. Two years ago, the county said it was up to the HOA. The city said it was up to the county. Today, Missouri City said safety is a top priority, but stated in part, the waterway is not owned or maintained by the city and the city is not aware of a replacement plan. We reached out to Harris County and have yet to hear back. Parents say regardless, it's an issue. Seeing the kids playing in here, seeing them crossing to the other side, going through the rocks. Angie Bass says her children sneak down to the bayou to cross. They used to use the bridge to walk to school. That's really, really scary, especially like I said, my daughter is like my biggest concern because she's so small. These parents say children are at risk and they hope someone does something. We still pay our tax dollars. We pay our HOAs. Why can't we have the things that we need? These families tell me safety is their top priority and they hope their voices will be heard. In Missouri City, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.